Today on the channel, we are trying out an entirely new set. We are also going to be checking out YouTuber merch. So we've bought a bunch of different items from large creators and we're going to be unboxing, testing, and then ranking them in this episode. Specifically, we're talking about merch that you can eat or drink. All right, let's get into it. Watch the breakdown. Now on this channel, we talk a lot about creator business and one of the biggest sectors of creator business is merchandise. The reason merch is so exciting is because a lot of times audiences will value the creator much higher than a brand ever will. I just made $3 million in three days. Really the business of YouTube is that you do advertising deals so that you get these big infusions of cash and that pays your expenses. Now, any additional dollars you have left over, you invest that into your own brand and build what's called intellectual property, IP. Examples of IP, David Dobrik's Clickbait, Logan Paul's Maverick. But now we're starting to see a whole new wave of merchandise when it comes to the creator economy. We're calling it Merch 2.0. We've come a really long way from just releasing a hat or a t-shirt or a hoodie. Like we are seeing all different types of products and services that creators are releasing into the world. And one of the biggest sectors we're seeing emerge here in the creator world is food and beverage. Looks like David Dobrik's coming out with the new frozen pizza line. From ChamberlainCoffee.com. These are mine. These guys are tired of shotgunning somebody else's drink. We want to make our own. Holy f this is good. And we finally have launched our juice company. This is Jojo Siwa Ice Cream. There's a couple of reasons that food and beverage works for creators. And one of the main ones is that it's a repeatable purchase. If you're looking at a frozen pizza or an energy drink or a coffee, it's something that if I like drinking it, I can actually buy it over and over and over. You only have so much space in your closet or your drawer for like t-shirts and sweatshirts, but you kind of have an unlimited capacity to consume a beverage. Another really interesting thing about food for creators is that it comes with a huge retail distribution opportunity. There's only so many places that are gonna sell potentially an Emma Chamberlain t-shirt. But if you make a drink, you can have that on shelves in grocery stores all over the world. So that level of scalability is like the holy grail of building a business as a creator. If you can create a business that is accelerated by your platform and your audience, but then can scale beyond you making videos, you one day don't have to make videos, but are still cashing in on this brand that you've built because of your following. There's an opportunity to make a lot of money if you can grow a popular food or beverage brand. George Clooney sold his Casamigos tequila for a billion dollars. Jay-Z makes like a third of his income from alcohol. So today on the channel, we're gonna be checking out some of these food and beverage brands from creators, trying them out and ranking them based on the Colin and Samir certified food and beverage creator ranking scale. And number four is the most important, scalability beyond YouTube. So the question is, can this product actually exist if you are not a fan of this creator on YouTube or Instagram? But first, we wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an amazing tool for creators. They have everything from video to music, sound effects, and even after effects templates. You can literally make a whole video with just the content you find on Storyblocks. With their unlimited all access plan, you can use all of the content you find on Storyblocks royalty free on YouTube, as well as all of the other social platforms that you're using. They also have flexible subscription plans, so you can find the plan that works for you. Before we even started working with Storyblocks, we were customers of Storyblocks, use them in all of our videos. It is one of the most helpful tools if you are a creator or running a brand or just trying to make content to engage people. Storyblocks is an awesome tool. So make sure to head to storyblocks.com slash Colin and Samir. The link is in the description to sign up. Thank you so much to Storyblocks. They have been so good to us this year. They support us and creators like us. So we hope that you support them too. All right. Product number one. This is Silly Juice, and it comes from the Ace Family. The Ace Family, obviously one of the biggest family channels on YouTube. I don't love Austin McBroom. I, I don't really watch the Ace Family, but that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> all right, we got a couple of flavors here. Red Apple Cherry Blossom, White Grape Burst, Orange Cream, Cool Blue Freeze, and it's not blue, it's red. I mean, this is delicious, but it's yeah. very sweet. But if I'm a kid, this is delicious. On the bag, it says 20% juice. What What else is it? Wouldn't you want it to be a more than 50% juice if you call it juice? Mm. Nope. Nope. No thanks to orange cream. Oh, no. No, no, no. No! White grape burst? Absolutely not. <laughs> that that tastes is... like Dimatap. No, that thanks. tastes like straight Tussin. All right. Silly juice. Quality. Seven out of 10. If you are a 12 year old kid, I think you will love this juice. Number two, customer experience. 
phenomenal because I'm used to going to the grocery store right in the middle of the shelves. And there were multiple grocery stores within a one mile radius that I could pick this juice up from. I'll go nine just because like you can either have it delivered or pick it up in store. Number three, branding. What do we think about the branding of Silly Juice? I actually think this is a pretty cool looking logo. It reminds me of Airheads. Oh, okay. Now that you say that. Uh, Seven out of 10 on branding. Okay, the last criteria, scalability outside of YouTube. So could this product exist even if the Ace family stopped making videos? 10 out of 10, they're in every grocery store everywhere. Yeah, and anyone can pick this up whether they know Ace family or not. All right, let's add that up and put the score on the screen because we've only reviewed one product, Silly Juice, currently the front runner. Currently leading the pack. But I actually have no idea what the number is, so we'll have to see it in the, in the edit who uh, wins this. Our next product was purchased and delivered by Amazon. Okay, this is Annie Energy from the Sway Boys. You know, the kids who <laughs> work out with their shirts off. They make like head party content. This fits right with that. You pair <laughs> it with vodka. What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog! Frick yeah! These guys saw that energy drinks were paying influencers. And if you see that over time, you obviously know that's probably working. Yeah, if it's working for the company that you're promoting, it's probably going to work if you start your own company. No. Tastes eerily similar to Silly Juice, <laughs> honestly. Okay. No, the aftertaste isn't it. But I am feeling it in my veins. Whoa. Yeah. My heart is racing. I feel scared. Yeah. I feel scared. I feel scared. There is something weird happening right now to me. I all of a sudden kind of don't hate it. I don't hate the taste. Something I wish I did, yeah. but yeah. I don't. It is, no. You know what? Yeah, I, I actually have no idea. I don't know. This thing is messing with my head and I, I'm just talking all fast now and like it's, it's... All right, quality. It doesn't taste as much like medicine as I thought it would. Five out of 10. Yeah. Customer experience. Seven out of 10. It's a good experience. Amazon is easy to buy and I'm impressed that they are on Amazon. Branding. You know what? I don't like the lips in the middle of the A. I don't like how there's a line going down the I. It's a really like not well done wraparound sticker on this can. I'm gonna give the branding a three out of 10. Scalability outside of YouTube. They just have to be in everyone's college house. I think they're also gonna to have to be in retail. I'm not gonna go out of my way to order any energy unless I really love these guys. So that's why I don't think it's as scalable. The target demo for the Sway Boys is primarily female from what I understand and a little bit younger, like in the 13 to 18 demo. You think about it, like when we were in college, the Red Bull girls who would show up, yeah, they would the just... Sway Boys are the Red Bull girls of the other yeah. the other side, right? Maybe. The shirtless dudes mm -hmm. selling you energy drinks. I never even thought about that, that this is potentially an energy drink for young girls. I think that's the angle. That's, that's pretty smart. I think it's a gutsy play, which I like. I like that they're going up against energy drinks. I like that they're doing something a little unique. It's not for me, but if you guys can pull this off, that'd be super impressive. Currently, scalability, I would say, is a four out of 10. Chamberlain coffee. Man, my heart does not need coffee right now. My heart does not need. The one thing you realize, especially if you're someone like me who goes to the same coffee shop every single day to get my cup of coffee, it's kind of like my outing right now that I absolutely love, but I see the same cast of characters at the same time. That means we are all paying like five bucks a day for our cup of coffee. So when you actually extrapolate that across 30 days in a month, it's one of my most expensive subscriptions. I pay $150 a month to that coffee shop. Panera launched a subscription plan, $9 a month. You could be getting coffee every day. I love Panera. Panera is not really a thing. How dare, hey, hey, hey. How dare you talk about Panera like that? Are you kidding? It's not that bad. Are you drinking? It's not that bad. It's right like now. kind of refreshing. I need to like spike a football right now. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me almost want to. Yeah, the energy is going insane. Colin could do a kickflip right now. Here we go. Chamberlain coffee taste test. not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. If, if I was served this at a coffee shop, I would yeah. not know any different. I'd be like, all right, it's fine. Yeah, it's good coffee. Okay. All right. From a quality perspective, Chamberlain Coffee continues to deliver. Nine out of 10. 
quality. In terms of customer experience, I think the most exciting thing about Chamberlain Coffee is that it's so integrated into her channel. And I think if you are a watcher of Emma, that's probably a really exciting part about buying her merch because it brings you closer to her to buy this merch. Okay. So customer experience, one out of 10. Eight out of 10. I think that bleeds right into branding. First and foremost, the rebrand with all these colors and these characters, I think is phenomenal. I think it's a great rebrand. 10 out of 10. This is my favorite branding of almost like any creator product I've seen. I love it. Scalability outside of YouTube, eight out of 10. I think this product is extremely scalable because it's coffee. It's something that you can gift to someone. It's something you can share with someone. You can sell these single serves in retail. Look at this. This is getting prepped for retail. All right, so the three scores are on the board. Again, we don't remember what they are, but they're out there. And we still have one more product to go. Final product is gonna require us to leave the desk. This next product has the most amount of substance. It's the most filling, and it's the one I'm most excited about. George. Hello? All right, let's eat. Sandwiches from Father Foods. Father Foods comes to us from Instagram influencer, Kelsey Calamine. Now she also has been in a lot of David Dobrik's YouTube videos. So she is on YouTube, technically not a YouTube creator, but she still is a social media creator. So over the past couple of years, as Kelsey has been growing her Instagram following, she's also been integrating a lot of food content. She even started her own dedicated account to what she eats. And then over time was able to transition that into a sandwich brand. It's not like she has her own sandwich shop, but she partnered with a restaurant and is delivering these sandwiches through Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates. This is what's referred to as a ghost kitchen. Basically, one restaurant can make four or five different food brands out of the same kitchen. Yeah. If the restaurant doesn't care about the brand, but they need traffic, YouTube creators, digital creators are a great place to drive traffic. Also, there are tons of restaurants who don't have any outdoor dining. And right now in LA and in a lot of places, if you don't have outdoor dining, you can't serve anyone anyway. So there are all of these kitchens that need to be producing more food. So it's a great partnership. It makes a lot of sense. So I went with the Lex, which is chicken cutlet sandwich with vodka sauce on it. I went with the Los Angeles specialty, which is like all vegetables, no cheese. It's like a toppings sandwich, basically. It's a it's vegan like, sandwich. It's very Instagrammable. Wow. You probably want to eat that. Why do I get the feeling that mine's going to be less Instagrammable? Yours is not very pretty, Colin. But that's the difference between you and I. Look at that. <sighs> this looks so good. Mm. Mine is excellent. Really, really good. I'm impressed. I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. I think we're both in agreement here. Quality, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is really good. We're out of delivery range, so it kind of changes the customer experience for us. If you're in delivery range, this is simple. I would order the sandwich regularly. I'd say six. Branding. 10 out of 10. I love it. I think it's great. Their Instagram is phenomenal. They did a launch in West Hollywood and like Noah Centineo mm -hmm. was there and like some very famous people. Who were even there. is Noah Centineo? Who isn't Noah Centineo? You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean because you say his name all the time. I don't know who he is. I say it because it's just fun to say. What do you mean you don't know I've who he is? I've never seen like, a program with him in it. And anytime you've shown me a picture of him, I'm like, I don't recognize this guy. Are you living under a rock? Are you? Do you have Netflix? I don't know. I just watched The Office. All right. Now, scalability outside of being a fan of this creator. The thing is, the photography on Uber Eats is so good. I would be interested in if I had no idea who this was. Yeah, these are sandwiches I would order no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to go nine. I Let's think, go nine. Here's the thing, though. You have to be in one specific area pretty much of LA to order this sandwich and interact with this brand. The opportunity would be, if this is popular, for ghost kitchens all over the country to start serving the same menu and making the same food. That's the opportunity when you think about David Dobrik with Dobricks. He could have a partnership with a pizza shop in every state to deliver it. You could have a Mr. Beast burger or a James Charles acai bowl. And they could all deliver from these kitchens all over the country just with the tap of a button. It'd be an unbelievable dynamic partnership. And this right now, what we're experiencing is the model. Okay, so now for the winner of this episode of trying YouTuber merch, 
you could probably tell from our reactions and how excited we got. Father Foods. Father Foods was an absolute home run from the branding to the taste to just like the, uh, to how even, hungry we were at the time. Even the experience of being able to order it through an app. Like I, th I think that is a excellent example of where creator business is heading. Now, the exciting thing for all of these creators and creators in general is that whether they won this challenge or not, all of them just got money in their pocket and they didn't have to make a video. Like that, that's pretty incredible. I think one of the most amazing things is that all the products that we talked about on this episode are consumable at scale. You can drink Chamberlain coffee every single day for the next 10 years. You can eat father food sandwiches once a week for the next two years. Like you could have four any energies a day. day. Easy. This is the next evolution of creator brands. It's not just apparel and merchandise. It's actually moving into these very unique businesses and opportunities that have opened up primarily because of the pandemic. Yeah, as years and years go by, you probably won't even notice that a lot of the products, things you're consuming, you're using, are actually started by creators. So this episode was obviously a food edition, but we do want to hear from you guys what other creators are making unique merch that we could check out, unbox, test, and review. I want to do an episode that's all just like random, ob obscure sort of products. Mm -hmm. like weird mm -hmm. and wacky. Creator products that you didn't know you needed. Anything just weird or interesting and different, comment those below and maybe that'll be our next episode. So thanks for watching. Make sure to comment below what other creator merch we should review. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let us know what you think about this set. Car or this set? All right, peace. Watch the breakdown. I got a few things, but if you need a dollar bill in your blue jeans, I'm going to throw it to you, honey, like I'm Drew Brees. I'm just happy that my crib got two sinks.